looks like a doll, but like the strangest one ever. Ah, it's my Akeiko. Akeiko? Um, first off, I really liked the, uh, the beginning, the opening credits and the transition into the story with the arm breaking through the box and how colorful the arm was as opposed to the kind of brown or tannish uh, background for the credits. It was the inside of the box. And that was really in, in creative, I thought. A really great way to transition into the story. And the music was really upbeat and really um, enjoy. I enjoyed the music a lot. It was, it was um, a great choice for this film. And I like that the animation was somewhat simple. Um, I know it's not easy to do, but it was a simple concept for a really important story and I think a tough subject matter. And I thought that the subject matter was actually handled with a nice touching story and handled very well. And it was, there was a few, to me, a few lessons to be learned with this short film um, that I probably would love to go watch again just to kind of, you know, see the lessons uh, again, because it was not just about, you know, bringing humanity into a tough subject like immigration, where a lot of it is political, but also adoption and the effects it have, has on the people. And this one was more from the eyes of the adopted parent, but it was also sharing that moment with your child that you adopted and how it changed your life. And and I, I don't know, it was a very, very complex uh, lesson really in such a short film and I thought it was done very well. The, the performances were all great. The music, um, the narration and well, the voiceover, uh, voice performances and the animation. So very well done. I really enjoyed the story. It almost felt like it was based on a real, you know, based on a true story. So great job. Interesting piece. Uh, I loved a lot of the fluid animation and the sometimes good use of secondary animation. Really, I found myself kind of just trying to decipher a lot of the animation technique uh, as I was watching it. Really, it was, it was an interesting piece that way, but also uh, performed really well. This is some fantastic voice work being done here um, and a story that really carries itself. Honestly, a good one. This was a tough film to watch. Um, animation was kind of nice and vibrant, but you know, just, I don't know, nothing fresh. But the, the biggest problem with this is that all of the action takes place in a flashback um, and the device of this mom talking to her daughter, it's just, it was just hard to, you know, care about anything. Um, all the action, it's basically like being, writing a play and having all the action take place off stage. Um, it was just, I just didn't understand it. It was just kind of frivolous and, and unconnected and um, unmotivated and, it was uh, it was just like a reason to talk about uh, immigration and border issues, um, and it wasn't done very well, unfortunately. Um, so I, I can't really have a lot of good stuff to say about this one. I thought this was really beautiful. I thought that they kind of they took a really interesting and a really hard subject, um, which I think is learning from your own point of ignorance and learning more and being able to educate yourself and change your mind and broaden your ideas and admit that the way you thought before or that you were uninformed about a subject and things like that. And I thought that it was such an interesting and beautiful way to show that you can be honest with the next generation you can be honest with yourself you can be honest with your kids that that she didn't shy away from it she told her the, the whole story she she told her that back then her ideas on immigration and adoption and a, a lot of these different ideas were very narrow and that they have changed and why they changed and she told her the whole story and i think it's a great example that you should do that you can do that you you have the ability and it was such beautiful it was so beautifully told because it was very respectful it was obviously done with a lot of, a lot of care and a lot of 
love woven into the story and a lot of support and come to an understanding. Um, so I thought it was really done well. I loved the colors. I loved the how they kind of brought everything back, how they introduced it with finding this little doll and the, the figurines and everything, the history of it. Um, so I thought it was really, really well done. I loved this. What a cool story and what a beautiful story too. I loved the animation. I think that the voiceover actors did an incredible job. There was a lot of feeling in there. There was a lot of realism and emotion. I thought that it was great. The animation style of it was really beautiful too. Um, great job, yeah. Um, I loved this. This was so sweet. Um, first of all, I love the animation. I thought it was really cool. Um, really great job. Um, again, the, the word I kept, th kept thinking of is sweet. Just the whole thing was sweet. The music was sweet. The um, the storytelling was sweet. The voiceovers were fantastic. They did a great job. Um, yeah, I just, I loved everything about this. The direction was great. The writing was really good. The dialogue sounded like naturalistic dialogue, the things you, you would say. Um, I just really enjoyed this, this film. I, I loved, I think I mentioned the music. I really liked the music. I liked everything about it. Great job. Congratulations. This is this has lovely storytelling and they they show us a beautiful message of empathy, kindness, resilience, uh, understanding and humanity. The Akeko uh, legend is an interesting tradition I didn't personally know about and the drawings to get this message through are so pretty and colorful. They focus on the main elements of the story where you get to be empathetic and it is just a lovely story. Uh, this These creators are, are great at what they do and this this tradition of the Ekeko, I thought it was quite important to know about and yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm.